My name is Patrick Page, I'm a radiologist and what a radiologist is is a medical imaging specialist, so a doctor who specialises in uh, imaging. So joint injection is, is, uh, involves putting a needle into the joint using uh, imaging guidance and it's usually performed for uh, treatment purposes to relieve symptoms of uh, pain either from arthritis or from inflammation but it can also sometimes be performed uh, for diagnostic purposes to determine whether the pain is actually coming from a particular joint or a particular site in the body. There's actually not a lot of preparation involved. Um, Probably the most important thing to remember is to bring your previous imaging because the radiologist will often refer to those images prior to performing the injection and it's also important to tell uh, the receptionist when you're making the booking and the doctor on the day uh, any medications that you're on because some of them may be relevant. During a joint injection, the first thing that will happen is that you'll be put into a robe, a medical gown, prior to the procedure, and then you'll be brought into the room, and usually there'll be a preliminary scan performed to determine the site of the injection. After that, the doctor will come in and explain the procedure to you and answer any questions you may have prior to starting, and then we'll give you a cold wash on the skin, usually inject some local anaesthetic, which gives you a slight sting in the area, followed by then you'll be put into the joint, which most people feel is a dull ache. Usually people get good relief from the local anaesthetic for about six hours post-injection and then the anaesthetic will wear off. Then the cortisone usually takes two to three days to actually start to work um, well. And the symptoms can continue to improve for about seven to ten days. Occasionally you can get a little flare-up or a mild flare-up of your symptoms after the injection, which can last for two to three days and usually that settles down just with um, uh, oral painkillers. A joint injection typically takes between uh, three to five minutes to perform. It can take longer sometimes depending on the type of procedure being performed. When you have a joint injection and you come in, the people in the room will usually be the nurse, the imaging technologist who performs the imaging and the radiologist who is the medical specialist or the doctor trained in medical imaging. Your results will be forwarded directly to your doctor. The radiologist will dictate a report um, after the procedure and usually within a day or two the report will be available to your referring doctor.